Here, bringing you with a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about encode talkers. It's kind of like, I guess, decode talkers, uh, alternate ego, I guess. Because, but this card is really good, and it's it, there's no reason, there's no wonder why this card isn't a generic card. So let's just talk about this card. It's a light cybers uh, link effect monster with with a, with a link of three, 2300 uh, attack, and the link uh, markers are top, bottom, and bottom right, and it requires two or more cybers monsters. So it's not generic. You have to use cybers monsters to kind of make this card so it only has one effect and i think the effect is actually kind of interesting once per turn during damage calculations when a monster that at this card's link point battles an, an opponent's monster with a higher attack you can activate this effect that monster you control cannot be destroyed by battle or and, and you take uh and you take no battle battle damage from that battle so what this what i'm reading from this is that if for example since this card is a bottom uh, bottom and bottom right count uh, uh, link. If you have a monster attached to those links, you could just swing with it, and then won't be destroyed by battle, or battle, will be destroyed by battle, and you won't take any damage. That's pretty good. Uh, however, it does have a top link, so if this card is battling that monster, it'll pop. This card, Enco Talker, will most likely die. But, but, but let's let, let's let's continue further. After the damage calculation, ha have either this card or that monster at the, this card's link point gain attack equal to the attack of that. Uh, of that opponent's monster until the end of this turn. So, for for example, if you just have like it's basically an honest like effect, except that it's not encased in the hand, which is kind of interesting. I don't think we I don't think we've ever really seen a, an effect like this before, uh, where you where you get to attack and then after the damage calculations you get to uh, gain, have this card gain attack or that monster gain attack to it. That's interesting. Not only does it not prevent prevent its destruction and you don't take any damage, but you get the ability to become potentially b bigger than it. Uh, so that's it, that's really good. It's kind of just copy paste, uh, honest, just a little bit different, and you have to play it a bit differently. It's really good. Um, it, it's it's kind of one of those cards that is it has a really high risk or high reward, and I think that this card could really really be one of those cards that just gives you such an advantage over your opponent in any future turns. Um, having this card become extremely beefy based on your monster's attacks, and even if they don't like perform well and even if they don't win that battle it doesn't matter because this card's gonna be like oh i just gain let's say for example 1900 attack as like a base example for like a level four monster oh i i'll, I'll gain 1900 attack that's pretty good uh so yeah anyway guys tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section down below i'll see you guys in the next video this has been team metamorphose and i'll be signing off